Hey man, shout out Sugar Shakur Stevenson. I don't know if he still wants to be called Sugar Shakur Stevenson. I still call him Sugar Shakur. But shout out Shakur Stevenson for raising his hand just in case Ryan Garcia can't make this April 20th bout. And the way things are spiraling and snowballing for Ryan Garcia, if I was a betting man, I would probably bet that he doesn't make that date and probably is forced to pull out of this fight uh, to take care of his mental, something that's extremely important. But if he does, if he do, I ain't mad at you call Stevenson stepping in. Let's talk about it. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxing TV, man. If you don't get your big goofy ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out the gang. My bag hitters. Special thanks to Tyree Celestine, Sean and Don, D1's Box, and of course, my guy, Troy Jack, my Aussie family, Mark Wynn, and New Church. I see y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Son of Apollo, I see you, man. I appreciate you rocking out with your boy for so long. All right, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, huge April 20th bout. A lot of people looking forward to this fight, including me. And I always, and listen, I told you guys several times on this channel, I'm a fan of uh, both Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia for sure. Um, I like Ryan Garcia. I like how he wears his heart on his sleeve. I like how he proclaims his love for uh, um, his religion and his savior, Jesus Christ. Um, it's a lot about the kid, you know, you just have to admire. Uh, I think he's a very genuine kid, but what he's going through right now, uh, it's, it's crazy. And I think it's more than anything detrimental to, uh, this fight. Um, and again, if I was a betting man, I would probably bet that more than likely he's pulled out of this fight versus Devin Haney, April 20th. Um, but Shakur Stevenson raises his hand yesterday on social media via X or Twitter um, saying, sub me in, coach. Now, listen, if you disown in, in Matchroom uh, and in Golden Boy, you want to put somebody in there, um, you know, could, who can halfway help carry this this uh, this bout right now. Of course, because Ryan Garcia was in it, um, it was massive. I think more people are going to accredit or, or credit Ryan Garcia um, for being the person who's probably going to bring the most eyeballs to this bout, especially given the success he had with Javante Tank Davis. I think uh, a lot of people feel like Ryan Garcia was a big part of that thing, being uh, the, this, the success that it was. And they was going to give him a lot of credit for making this pay-per-view event a success if, in fact, it would be, if it had played out that way. But if he can't make it, right? I'm not so sure the name Arnold Barboza Jr. Um, is big enough to uh, have this event um, be half as, as successful uh, as they probably were anticipating. Um, but when you throw the name Shakur Stevenson out there, three uh, the three division world champ, the current WBC lightweight uh, world champ, Somebody who jumped in the ring after the Vasil Lomachenko and Devin Haney fight and really wanted that smoke with Devin Haney. Um, unfortunately, they couldn't get that fight done. Um, we got the reports that Devin sent Shakur some type of offer. Um, Shakur denied that offer, but he went on to try to uh, um, try to uh, uh, mandate his fight because he was the mandatory, but it just didn't work out, right? Um if you're replacing Ryan Garcia with a Shakur Stevenson, uh, I think the boxing fans, if not anything, the true boxing fans, the real boxing fans, the hardcore boxing fans will most likely be pleased with um, uh, uh, that transition, right? Uh, somebody who's I believe is worthy enough to step in that ring uh, with uh, Devin Haney. Not saying Arnold Bo Bo Barbosa isn't, but again, this is a, this is supposed to be a really, really big event. And at the last minute, to get somebody the caliber of a Shakur Stevenson, uh, I think that speaks volumes. And I'm not so sure that you could find a better replacement replacement than uh, uh, or than a Shakur Stevenson. 
I really like it. Uh, and again, shout out to Shakur Stevenson for raising his hand. He didn't have to raise his hand. Um, if he did, the fight would be at 140. This would be his first fight at 140. Um, uh, I think he'd, he'd be stepping out of, out of his element, um, challenging himself uh, to, to go to 140 out of the blue and take on Devin Haney. Um, when mentioned prior, would he ever fight Devin Haney at 140? He said um, that he would. Uh, we wouldn't know, you know, coming this quickly if this was to happen. Um, we, I don't think anybody could have seen that coming. He recently just got to uh, uh, 135. He's only had one, two fights. He's only had two fights at 35. So uh, to come out of nowhere and come up to 40 and challenge Devin Haney, uh, I think Devin Haney would have all uh, the advantages uh, for the most part, uh, uh, dealing with, of, of course, the size difference. Um but this is, you know, somebody who dare to be great and to save the event, right? Uh, to to some extent, I do believe now. I don't think it's it's as big without Ryan Garcia, of course. But to help halfway save that event, I do believe uh, um, Shakur Stevenson stepping in is doing so in a major way. All right, and again, not as big without Ryan Garcia for sure, for sure. But man, Shakur Stevenson ain't a bad replacement at all, at all. And I would be most definitely down and interested in seeing that fight. Definitely want to know what you guys think in the comment section, man. Please let me know. Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, Shakur Stevenson replacing Ryan Garcia. Would you like to see that over anybody else? Right? Because who else would even be prepared? That's the caliber of a Shakur, of a Shakur Stevenson. Who? That's a good question in the comment section, too. If not Shakur Stevenson, I know you got Honorable Boza, but who else would you like to see step in there with Devin Haney? Who is prepared to go right now without a fight? All right, that's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. You know who I got, baby. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Y'all make sure you go sub to my man, Heavy Bag Boxing, baby. Get your dumb ass in and hit this bag. The Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Y'all just go ahead and subscribe to Heavy Bag Boxing TV because he be lit on his channel. And Heavy Bag Boxing. At heavy Bag Boxing TV. Yo, shout out to Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Heavy Bag Boxing TV.